Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. I might keep looking down at my iPad as I have a bunch of tips written down to help you all out if you want to start a YouTube channel. So I first started my YouTube channel back in 2020, right before we had the pandemic. And let me just say that it's never too late to start um, a YouTube channel. It's never too late to start today. I started my YouTube channel and my first video was a arts and crafts video that I didn't realize the sound um, wasn't all that great for. And so I now look back and I say, if I would have waited until now to start doing videos and editing, editing them, I wouldn't even know where to begin. I'm just glad that I have the experience that I do. Tip number two is to post one to two times a week. I know that for me, sometimes we do things such as like VEDA, Vlogmas, Vlogtober, um, and things like that, and challenges of uploading for 30 days during the month. But just try your best to post one to two times a week and be consistent about your um, posting during the week. So when you're posting, make sure that you're posting content that is going to be searchable. Searchable content does not necessarily have to be things that are just randomly put out there, but you want to find something that someone's going to want to search and look for in order to find your video. Especially if you're a new YouTuber, you're not gonna wanna put out um, a bunch of vlogs, um, and don't expect for people to come over to a bunch of vlogs if they don't really know you right off the bat. So tip number four is to try new ideas. Definitely try new ideas over on your channel. See what brings people in, especially if you're a new YouTuber, if you're just welcoming people in, if you are building up your channel, try to do new ideas, whether it's cooking, baking, workouts, um, grocery hauls, just see what reels people in on your channel so that you can grow your niche. Sometimes um, YouTube can definitely be very hard. It can be hard to support people. It can be hard to get support back. Um, one thing that I'll say is definitely push through. That is my tip number five to you all, push through. No matter what, continue on your journey of vlogging, um, creating videos, unboxing stuff. These are really great things that people love to see. And regardless if the content is not where you want it to be, push through. If you like it, push it through. One thing about YouTube is you have to be consistent. Consistency is my tip number six to you all. Definitely make sure that you're being consistent with your videos, that you're being consistent with com commenting back, which is something that I lack in. It takes me about roughly a month or two to catch up on comments if I do Vlogmas, Vlogtober, VEDA, and things like that. So um, definitely you know, keep up with your consistency on your channel, whether you're doing shorts, whether you're doing vlogs, whether you're doing whatever it is you want to do. Tip number seven is don't check or stress about the growth all the time. Um, definitely don't log into YouTube Studio and wonder what um, the numbers look like. Don't worry about how many watch hours you have. Don't worry about any of that nonsense. Just don't check it. Let your channel grow naturally and just come in and see every once in a while the growth of your videos and the growth of your channel. Tip number eight is to use iMovie. I know a lot of you all sometimes don't have iPhones, but one thing I'll say is that when you get an iPhone, iMovie is gonna be one of your best friends when creating YouTube videos. I definitely use iMovie to create all of my videos if I film on my phone and so Using iMovie is great. It's just not great when you need to add text. If you're trying to add text, it just makes it seem like you have to cut your video and then add the text and it, it, it's too much. Um, especially if you have a software that you don't know exactly how to add the text into your video just yet, 
these are one of the things that can help out with iMovie as far as putting the video together. Um, I normally put my video together on iMovie, send it over um, to my Mac, and then edit from there. And there are plenty of different font um, apps that you can download in order to add it into your movie. Might be a little harder, but um, it's worth a try if that's what you're willing to do. Tip number nine is to remove breaths. Long periods of pause, take them out. People are not gonna wanna sit around and listen to the long breaths, the long pauses in your videos. And so just try and delete them, the clips as much as you can. Tip number 10 is that you have to have a great thumbnail. Like if your thumbnails are not popping, your videos aren't popping. Um, people wanna see a reason to click on your videos such as this one um you know give them a reason why they should click on your videos i edit my thumbnails in canva um, i do have canva pro so i do pay 12.99 a month for um this particular app where you can download it on your ipad you can download it on your cell phones and you can work on it on the computer and so their thumbnail is going to make your videos pop tip number 11 is that you know you never know when you're going to get monetized i am not monetized yet um, i am on my road to 1k i am also on my road to my watch hours um, so you're gonna need 1,000 subscribers. You're also gonna need 4,000 watch hours. And with that, you wanna make sure that you set up monetization ASAP. So even though I'm not monetized yet, I did wanna spread word of mouth not to overdo the ads. Tip number 13 is only work with brands that you love. Yes, people are gonna to wanna to send you um, paid promotions. They're gonna to wanna to help you like help them in the in the long run but only help the ones that are really going to be beneficial for you and i think that coming into 2023 that is going to be my memo if it's not beneficial for me or my channel i'm just going to strictly start declining because a lot of these companies reach out say they want a review and then it ends up um to where i end up getting my um amazon um reviews shut down. I cannot do Amazon reviews. They took that privilege away from me. So I can't work with anyone who wants to do an Amazon review, which sucks because this is my second time creating a whole new Amazon account um, in order to do Amazon reviews. And it got taken for creating a Amazon review um, for content um, over on my channel. Tip number 14 is who cares? Who really cares? If, you're, if your videos are not popping to someone else, guess what? Who cares? At the end of the day, these are videos that you make, these are videos that you create, and these are videos that you edit and videos that you put time and effort into. Who cares if these people don't like these videos? Who cares if these people watch it all the way through or not? At the end of the day, you're putting content out for someone to watch, whether they watch it um, in full, whether they don't watch it, whether they did hit dislike it, whether they hit the like button, who cares? At the end of the day, this is your channel, your content, your platform. Prime example, tip number um, 14 is of who cares. Tip number 15 is strictly not every video will be perfect. Of course, every video is not going to be perfect. Not every video is going to reach the amount that you want to of views, amount of likes. At the end of the day, you put the video out that you want to create and you, you know, stick with what you like to do. Not every video will be perfect. It takes time to edit. It takes time to create a great thumbnail. It also creates um, a perfect time uh, to sit down and write a list of perfect ideas for your channel. Tip number 16 for everyone is to stick up for yourself. Regardless if someone um, likes your video or they don't like it or they don't understand why you're doing YouTube, um, stick up for yourself and let them know honestly why you're doing YouTube and then keep it moving. Um, but I think that it's great that I'm doing something like this 
and you know like channeling my emotions through videos and showing unboxing and travel vlogs and grocery hauls and things like that and i'm glad that i can do these videos and relate to a lot of different people um, and it also helped build some relationships here on youtube so definitely stick up for yourself let the people know you know really why you're doing it and keep it moving tip number 17 for you guys is youtube is mostly editing on youtube you are mostly editing um your videos you're mostly creating thumbnails you're mostly um just editing your description box editing your title box editing your tags your keywords you're editing that's really what youtube is all about you're also responding to comments but it's mostly editing last but not least tip number 18 is you don't need a fancy camera to vlog to create videos or a fancy phone to make these videos on at the end of the day whatever camera you have is whatever camera you have whatever phone you have is whatever phone you have the videos that you choose to create on your channel is what you choose to make it so at the end of the day you don't need a fancy camera to vlog edit or anything else you just need um just need yourself bring your ideas to the table and make the video that you want to make the way that you want it to make so thanks guys so much for watching my video on how to actually become a youtuber if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to comment down below mm -hmm.